All right, hello and welcome to another deck highlight. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Wave. She got updated to a 3-5 and now has the text that all cards cost a maximum of 4 until the end of turn. So uh, it's basically the exact opposite of how Wave played before. Wave used to be a lockout card that would prevent your opponent from playing more than one card. Now it's a mana cheat card that lets you play out a six drop and then a bunch of cheap cards, one or two drops alongside it to have big flourishes. But it is a symmetrical play, so your opponent, if they have the right deck, can also benefit from it. Um, so we're, this is going to be a little bit of a different video. There's two decks I want to look at. So you're going to get to see highlights from both and see my genuine reaction to what I think about Wave. I've already played the games. So the two decks we're looking at are Cerebro 5 because Wave's a five cost now. Uh, and I genuinely think Wave is a pretty good fit in Cerebro 5. I just don't really know how good Cerebro 5 is. And I myself am probably not the best Cerebro 5 player, but uh, she feels good in Cerebro 5. And then the other one is this uh, Kingpin deck. Kingpin is just a good utility tech card to counter um, Werewolf by Night, which is pretty popular right now since he just came out. But also, uh, it's just a very good deck. You get to control where your opponent plays cards, push them around, and then you can wave on five, and then you could Magneto, and then play something like Silk or Cloak on, on the same turn to play 16 to 17 power on the final turn while moving your opponent's cards around. Uh, it can be extremely strong, um, but I'll be honest here right now, I don't think Wave is a great card like she was before. I think she was an amazing card. She basically dictated a game if played correctly, shut down a lot of decks. I don't think that's the case anymore because of how symmetrical she is. Uh, because when you Wave, your opponent also has the advantage now to play their expensive six drop with some cheap cards so sometimes they will end up getting a better benefit out of wave so you have to be very particular when you use it and then sometimes they'll just won't care that you waved and will do their own thing anyway so i don't think it's a great card i think you have to really find uh the specific niche that you want to use wave in like these decks aren't bad with wave but they aren't optimized for wave so they don't really highlight wave's strength um, so I thought I would just give that opinion now as you're going to see me uh, have some very funny games uh, in these coming videos. But anyway, I guess I hope you guys enjoy. This will be a little bit of a different one. Uh, it'll have some losses, some more funny moments. Uh, but if you enjoy, please subscribe uh, and leave a like and comment letting me know that you want to see more of these. Not necessarily highlighting a deck, but showcasing a card more so and where they could be useful. Anyway, if you guys uh, enjoy, then let me know, and let's get into the gameplay. Okay. Yep. This is another Loki deck? It could be. I will do say, everything in my power to Quinjet. kill that Quinjet. And the Elsa Bloodstone? <laughs> oh, don't tempt me with a good time. <laughs> mm, no, that kind of benefits them. Can't do that. <laughs> I don't think nine power wins middle right. Mm, probably not now. That's a good barrier. The kitty bride. Jeff. Okay. There's a that chance. might very well win you mid. If silk, never mind. Silk cannot help no, me. No, because here. you, yeah. This pretty much decides the game here. <laughs> Whoever sides die in Hala, they're fucked. So it's, it, I have 14 power middle. I mean, there's a chance. There's a chance. <gasps> Let's go. Let's go. 
snap just in case. What? <laughs> He's retreating this round anyway. Snap. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna retreat. I think he would have already retreated. That's crazy. That's wow. crazy that he stays, by the way. I retreat on the spot. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, Wait, I'm retreating. That's if triggering. I instantly. see I have less power, and that that's cool. Good game. <laughs> How many cards does he have in hand? One. He has, he has one. Oh. He got one oh, card from that. That's uh, that's a power move. I can only play one card. Yeah. Oh, you Polaris for trolling value. Okay, that works too. <laughs> I'm... I don't even know if that's actually right. I think Polaris might actually be the correct play. Because I don't think that I pull... Uh, I, I don't think... Spider-Man going over here wins me anything. If anything, it just... Spider-Man going over there gives you nine. If you pull Ninja, it wins you that lane. Oh, please pull Lizard. Huh. Oh, wait, never mind. It doesn't matter. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Easy. I don't think he considered um, Blizzard getting shrunk. <laughs> As an option. I don't think you did either. Hey, oh. <clears throat> there it is. Yeah, I'm the only content creator you'll be seeing playing bad decks this high up on the ladder. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> hmm. Alrighty. Ah, Love that. Favorite location. That's like, whatever. Dude, name me a more iconic card to find without Cerebro. And then this stupid card. <laughs> hey oh <laughs> Complain and you shall receive baby. Well. Do you have a move card by chance? Ah, it's not a move card. Yeah. Uh, uh, this looks like a snap. This looks like 15 snaps. This looks like I snap my life savings into this game. Does it? Uh, I can Cerebro on two and then Mystique on three, and we know they're destroyed X, they're not running Enchantress. Yes. What do you mean you can Cerebro on two? Oh, son of a bitch, I thought this was turn two. Ah, never mind, I don't care anymore. Cool, just checking. <laughs> if it was, if, 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 if Tinker worked up came on two, then I that, that's why I was saying that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that I agree with. I think we only snap here if we pull Dr. Doom. <clears throat> okay, but hear me out. Uh, yeah. This looks like Cerebro Zero deck material. When you put it that way. <laughs> I mean, your options suck. Yeah. Probably wave. No, I don't want to wave. No, no, yeah. You never want to wave. Yeah, yeah. I, I just slap Spider-Man, it'll screw one of his cards. Probably See, not. That's what I'm wondering. Like, do funny. I Spider Man or do I Miles Morales? Because I'm never going to get the cost reduction on Miles Morales at this point. Why not? Because it's turn five. Yeah, if you spot you, he has priority. So if you Spider Man mid, as long as he plays something. Oh, he doesn't. Spider Man will move on his own. No, my Cerebro Zero. Soiled. <laughs> you hate to be a bit. Give me Titania. Big no. Titania Gaming. Damn it. <laughs> I have to play two cards right to win right. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Dom, you are the destroy expert. I need you to tell me what they're going to do. <laughs> yeah. They didn't destroy X-23 last turn, right? So that means they... they... Correct, which means they have six power. Six or energy? Six energy. <laughs> that means they can only null if null is their play line. Which means... And they have not destroyed enough stuff to play null. Well, right, so that means, like... But I, I'm just spitballing here that like this would be this would be null yes maybe it would Do we yeah think because they know if he plays null it's mid I don't think he plays null it's like, venom and tinker's workshop I don't know what the other card it is yeah but this beats that this beats venom right yeah. Holy shit, what the hell just happened? Oh, yeah, she is oh my god! Ability, huh? Wait, what did that card do? What did that ability do? <gasps> Switch the location. I win? Yeah. No, are you kidding me? Yikes! <laughs> no, uh... For the record, uh, that was Venom Right. <laughs> it was just the most roundabout way of doing it. There's no way. That's really unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that is dumb luck, though. Like, Bro, <laughs> I literally win <laughs> that, though. Oh, my God. That's really funny. That's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, playing while totally not tilted. Sure, sure. Oh, it's just so annoying. It's a car. That's good. Game, I just got done so absolutely disrespectful last game. You better pull this fucking Doctor Doom out of my hand. It's pulling Star Lord. Oh, that's that's maybe the worst possible card. Star Lord would have been worse. Oh, and it pulled... Okay. Okay. I guess that's a mildly okay trade. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that sucks. I mean, it's good that it got pulled now when it can only hit one card. That I will give you. Yeah. <laughs> Place that card's location. They have priority. Is it gonna be a vault? Thank God. <laughs> Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Nico. Damn it. Nico actually kind of screwed him. I mean, you can't move any of his cards in there, but like... I have Polaris. You know? They play into Fisk, right? We we agree. They play <laughs> into Fisk, right? Yeah, just slap your Doctor Strange right over there. Told you, they play into Fisk. I know move decks, alright? You play into Fisk, because you don't want to <laughs> deal with Fisk. Wait, what's the point of playing multiple man? That doesn't make any sense to me. Hold on. Am I crazy for that, like, just not making sense in my brain? Like, they don't have Heimdall. They don't have Ghost Spider. They can't Iron Fist anymore. Doctor Strange doesn't do anything. What's the point? Is their hand just a dud? Like, right? Like, that's why they play multiple man. Their hand's just dead? Yeah, I don't know. Am I being told that they run Odin in this deck? Like, what? No chance. I agree, but what is this card doing here? Cloak. There's the one move card I couldn't think of. Move to Tanya. Why? 
Because there's no way he plays into Sakar. Right, he's moving cards there. He's moving Human Torch and probably Craven. That's my thought as well. Why does he snap? What move card? He has two cards in his hand. What move card has seven power? They have arrow? He moves Human Torch and Craven left and then... Doctor Strange's middle? I, I don't know. But then we went to car. Yeah, I, he has two cards. He's we knew that those moves were happening. Them. Was this arrow? Yeah. Is this arrow? Magento. That does not matter. I already lost. At all. What? What do you mean you already lost? Oh, those two didn't go through yet. Noted. That's unfortunate. Well, it was Arrow esque. Alright. We love Hala here. Some big you know, Hala enthusiasts. That location has helped. No, us that was the card rip. I was going to play into Hala. Yeah. Omega Red. Noted. So... As far as I'm concerned, that's a win condition for him that got discarded. <laughs> that definitely is. Like, in my mind, if I'm playing Omega Red, that's a win condition. <laughs> okay. So he's got what? Iron Man? He probably. So, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Spectrum. I Spider Man Monster Island. Okay. We pull it, it into Hala. And you kill your Spider Man. No, no, no. I kill the monster because Miles Morales will be one and Titania's one. So then I play whatever else I get, fill the lane, kill the monster. <laughs> My Cerebro's already broken. Hi. I might as well break him in the process. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Don't go to Hala. Go to Sokovia. No, you bitch. <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> we can recover from this. <laughs> We're throwing the game, but it's okay. Okay. This is a massive decision we have to make. This is the right play 100% mm -hmm. of the time, actually. Because if they play <laughs> one card, we're fine. We get the Tanya back. If they play... Wait, we have priority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if they play one card, yeah. we get the Tanya back. If they play two, we're fine. And there's no way they fill. <laughs> Son of a bitch. No. <laughs> I've seen me win these. I, I, I've seen... You're running a Cerebro 5 deck with no Cerebro and a monster. Yeah, but do you see my Doctor Doom? I guess? Do you see the Star Lord snipe? No. Just keep watching. It's on tap, don't worry about it. Are they running Cerebro 5? Friendly neighborhood Spider Man here. Uh, you know, is it Cerebro 5? Is it a movement deck? I don't know. <laughs> you really could be. Wait, that doesn't. No, it doesn't. I know from experience <laughs> already. Red? That's so dumb. No, I had this happen in a game earlier. I played Spider-Man, and it pulled a Negasonic. And it didn't kill the Spider-Man. And I was like, what? Because my Star-Lord is, oh. is acting like he didn't play Spider-Man in this, in, like, Monster Island. Because he played it in Yeah, Sokovia. he played him in Sokovia. Right, so that's why Star-Lord doesn't trigger. Because it wasn't played in a Monster Island. It, it's very dumb. So what you are... You don't win that. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just so we're but clear. Maybe. <laughs> they had to be Street Row 5. They had to be. 
Dude, that's so unlucky. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ayo. Beautiful. Now we just keep knocking cards out of it. Oh wait, hold on. <clears throat> I'm holding. You want soak down as early as possible so if you can move into tank and tank for him. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Did you say so she can go into Jotunheim? <laughs> Is that what you said? So that way. I no, right. no, no, Spider Man there. Why? <laughs> he yanked the Deadpool, I guess. Yeah. Uh, do I, I think I yes, snap here. Snap. Yes. This 100%. is like such a good location setup. <laughs> Victory. All they saw was silk. <laughs> and they yeah, knew, well, no, fuck, the, we can't go those into Sanctum. locations are terrible. Yeah, I guess. Well, he might have had a Nimrod. But, yes. That's what I'm saying, though. It's like weird that he just retreats off seeing a silk. Alright. Son of a... Alright. It's fine. a good start. It's a Wait, start. I who did they discard? Uh, Silk. Okay. Wait. No, Silk would have been good. Dang it. Suck my wow, nuts. this guy doesn't know how screwed he's about to get, does he? Maybe he's running the same thing. We don't know. Why there and not Sokovia? Why would I play it into Sokovia? Because Heimdall pushes everything left. It's a fair point. They probably don't play anything into Elysium, right? Um, you or him? Him. Uh, I feel like they. I would just be. Failed. I would play into Elysium because that might bounce your Silk into Craven. Ta-da! I honestly don't know what I should do here. Just kind of want to arrow left. Checks out. <laughs> but then we're just like banking on a Magneto pull, I feel like. And they're probably like already want to play into Angela, right? So this is probably better. Like they want to play into Angela. They want to play into Angela and then move into Craven, so I think if I do this, this probably screws the Elsa. Yeah. Just took a little bit to get there. Took a little bit to get there. Rude. Is this a Renslayer deck? That's risky for yourself. I'm aware. <laughs> I am so, so very aware. Okay, actually, hold on. That is where you play Juggernaut if you're playing him. I don't know if that's true. What, you think put it in mid so you win that? Yes. Yeah, Alright, that's fair. Because, like, I'm... Why would they play into a lane they're up 13? That doesn't make there, any sense. Yeah. Play into a lane, you're down full five. And then I'm going to make sure that we're up 14 right. Do they have a Magento? See? I'm telling you, King Ping left. Okay, yeah, no, you're right. I'm just... <laughs> I, 
it's so silly of me to assume. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would you play in the lane that you're up 13? Congrats, Man, you're up 18. A professional, all right. What? Yeah, he won that lane. Okay. My bad. <laughs>